Hi everyone! Today we're making avocado fritters. You know how much I love avocado, so I'm sure you're not surprised that I come up with this recipe. So I'm actually redecorating my flat at the moment. Well, repainting really. It just seems like everybody's redecorating coming out of a lockdown and I'm doing the same. You kind of just want a fresh start. So things are a little bit chaotic at the moment in my flat. So today is going to be a single camera operation, okay? Just to keep things a little bit easier. But these fritters are just kung fu food at its best and so, so simple to make as well. So I can't wait to show you how to make it. So the ingredients you need. So we need three avocados. So these are medium sized avocados and you want them reasonably ripe. It just makes things easier. So three avocados and we need some lemon juice. So there's one lemon here. And then I'm going to add in some ground almonds. Um, not a huge amount. You can also use coconut flour, or lupin flour. And the texture is a little bit different, but they're all delicious in their own rights. And then some ground flaxseed. So I've got some golden flaxseed here. Um, you can use regular flaxseed, um, it's just a little bit darker. Flavor-wise, it's the same. And also you can use ground chia seed as well, if you prefer. And we're going to make the fritters super creamy. So we're going to add in some vegan mayo. You can use vegan yogurt if you want to. Make sure you choose the ones that's thick and creamy. And a little bit of baking powder. So with these fritters, you can kind of cater it for your own liking. So I'm going to add in my favorite, favorite spring onions and then a little bit of ginger as well. So you can add in all sorts of herbs and spices, depends on what you like. You know, some coriander would be lovely as well. So this is it. This is all you need for these gorgeous avocado fritters. So before we make the fritters, I just want to share a quick tip with you. So many of you have been making these five seeds crackers. I mean, these are so delicious. And if you haven't tried these, you really need to give it a go. And if you've been making them as frequently as I do, I just want to share with you what I do to make my life easier. I make probably a couple of batches minimum a week. So what I do is basically creating pre-mixed packs. So this is what I've got here. So basically I put all ingredients in the bag. So these are reusable bags. It kind of seals really well. So I put all ingredients in the bag and that is the seeds, the seasonings, and also the psyllium husk powder, or if you're using flaxseed. So all ingredients in the bag, pre-mixed. So I make three to four packs like this. All you have to do is make sure they're sealed properly and then you can keep them in your cupboard whenever you need them. And the great thing about them is that whenever you want some crackers, all you have to do is to tip the carton in the mixing bowl. So just give it a quick mix like this and then open it up and just tip everything in the mixing bowl. And then just add in half a cup of cold water. Give it a mix. And then you can get the oven started while you're resting in the mixture and um, you're good to go. So I just want to share that with you. It's worked out really well for me. You know, if you're making these crackers on a regular basis, which you should, then this is going to make your life easier. Okay, to make the fritters is super, super simple. So the first thing we're going to do is add in an avocado in the mixing bowl. So we're going to scoop in the flesh of two avocados and we're going to leave one on the side for now. And then we're going to add in two tablespoons of lemon juice. So this is going to give the fritters wonderful flavors and also to preserve the color of the avocado. So about two tablespoons here. And then I'm going to scoop in my vegan mayo. So I've got about three tablespoons a vegan mayo, roughly. So the great thing about this recipe is that you don't have to be super accurate and depends on the size of your avocado, you can kind of adjust the quantity of the ingredients as you go along. And then our ground flax seeds. So I've got two tablespoons here, just pop it in. And then I'm going to just sprinkle some salt in there. I'll probably add more if I need it. And some ground black pepper. And then our ground almonds as well. So I've got 80 grams here. And then what I'm going to do is blitz everything with my handheld blender. You can do the whole thing in your food processor if you prefer. I'm just going to mash everything together. Lovely. Okay, so the mixture 
should be quite creamy and smooth like this. It's kind of a really thick whipped cream. So it depends on the flour you use. If you find it too dry at this point, um, you can add a bit of lemon juice or vegan mayo to loosen it. So in the mixture, we're going to add in the remaining avocado. The final one, we're going to want it in chunks. So I just roughly chop it in small pieces. I'm going to just tip the cubes in. So you have that creamy avocado cream and then you bite into avocado flesh as well. And then I'm going to add in some spring onions. And as I said, you can add in any kind of herbs you like. I love spring onions. And I'm also going to add in my ginger as well. So the quantity is really up to you. Um, I just grate it finely. I always think that in a recipe, if you combine all the things you love, you really can't go wrong with it. So this is what I'm going with. And then I'm going to just quickly kind of have a little dab to check my seasoning. Mm. Maybe a little bit more salt. So you want to adjust the seasoning to your liking. Okay, so the mixture for our fritters is done. So the mixture of our fritters is pretty delicate. So instead of pan frying it, we're going to bake it. It makes life easier. So what I've got here is my baking tray and I'm placing a layer of baking sheet on top. And then I'm going to drizzle some olive oil to grease the bottom. So these fritters need some oil. So this will give the fritters that golden brown finish. And then take a mixture here. And I'm going to scoop in kind of a spoon for here and then just drop it on the baking sheet like that. It will be irregular in shape and it's part of the charm like that. So it creates these beautiful nuggets. Lovely. And then I'm going to just brush a little bit of olive oil on top of all of them. Just dab a little bit and this will give them that golden brown surface. Okay, so this is ready to go into the oven. They look so adorable. So we're going to bake these fritters in a 200 degree preheated oven. We're going to bake the first side for about 15 minutes and then flip them over and bake for further 10 minutes or so till they're golden brown. So there you go. This is how you make these beautiful avocado fritters. So to eat them, my favorite thing is to squeeze a little bit of lemon. And then my guilty pleasure is to have it with a bit of mayo and a bit of keto ketchup as well. So this is comfort food at its best. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of mayo and a bit of ketchup. <laughs> this, is, this is nursery food. Seriously, this is comfort food, this is best. So I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm, mmm, so light and creamy. I don't know whether you can see it. It's so creamy in the middle. This is really something you want to eat when you need a hug. And you bite into chunks of avocado as well, warm avocado. It's just lovely. This would be wonderful as a starter if you're having you know, people around for meals. And now we're allowed to have meals with people. So I hope you like today's recipe and we'll give it a go. These fritters are so gorgeous and so great to eat. So follow me Instagram if you haven't already and visit my Amazon shop to find the ingredients you need. So hopefully my redecorating work I will go smoothly and everything will be returned to normal very soon. So thank you for hanging out with me today and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.